main riders forming the group from whom the contenders would emerge. They included newly crowned gravel world champion Gianni Vermeersch, Alpes and Kuning, his teammate Matthew van der Poel, Italian gravel champion, Samuel A. Zaccarato, Ardiani CSF Zong, and Miguel Angel Lopez, a Sonic Kazakhstan team. Before the second passage of the finish line, with 22 kilometers to go, van der Poel had slipped 25 seconds behind the leading group, with Martin Orion's tied, Uno X Pro. Cycling team, in the race lead ahead of Gianni Vermeersch, Lopez, his Astana. Sixth-hand teammate Davi Toniti, Orion's Todd's own teammate William Levy, Jeffrey Soup, Total Energies, Florian Vermeersch, Lotto Seidel, and Robin Vrude Vox, Tudor Pro Cycling Team. On the approach to the race finish, with fast finishers Emil Sleepens, Trek Fredo, and Gianni Vermeersch well-placed, the 23-year-old Robin Vrude Vox tried his luck with an attack, and it stuck. He won the race with a 13-second advantage over Liebens, Gianni Vermeersch, Florian Vermeersch, and Orion's Todd. Post stage comments. Robin Fruit Devox, Tudor Pro Cycling Team. I'm not too much of a gravel specialist, and even MTB I am not so good technically, but I took the opportunity and went on the attack, because I knew that if I stayed in T Goop, it would be hard technically against the best in T last lap, and it worked. I didn't believe it until the last kilometer. I feel really happy. I had injury in my fingers two and a half months ago. I had to rest for a month and start training again, so I'm fresher than the other riders because I didn't have a mid-season. Of his team owner Fabian Conchialara, present in the finish line area today, he said. It's really great to have Conchialara in the team, we learn a lot and he looked really happy, so that's nice. Help us to bring you the best cycling content, please share, like, and subscribe.